Hello everybody and welcome back. I was just sitting here tying some rigs up for a uh, fishing trip, to, an upcoming fishing trip uh, next month and I was watching a video on how to tie the T-knot and in this video there was no voice, no sound, it was just you know this hands tying this knot and I thought you know I'm going to redo this uh, because I'm going to show you the rig from the you know that I'm going to be tying up and using the T-knot to do um, a chicken rig or a high-low rig, whatever you want to call it. So let's get started here. I'll show you what I'm doing, and I just wanted to have a tutorial on how to do this with some you know, voice background, somebody explaining what they're doing and why they're doing it. Okay, so let's tie the knot here. The first thing we want to do is form a sinker loop for our chicken rig, high-low rig, whatever you want to call it. So form a fairly big loop there. Now what you want to do is just do a simple overhand knot. So you come around the line like that, double it up, come around, and we're just going to come through that twice. So there's once, come through one more time there, that line there, there we go, and then you should form a loop like that, pull that tight. And there we have our loop. This is a 30 pound big game trialing line that I'm using for this to form my rig. I'm going to cut off the tie again there. And now we're going to come up about a foot from that loop that we just made. And we're just going to do basically the same thing. You're going to form another loop, but this time we're going to come around and do. Again, it's an overhand knot, but we want to go through four times this time. So there's once, twice, three times, and then one more time. There we go, like that. It'll form like that, and you just pull that tight. And this is going to be the loop for, I'm going to pull the knot up here tight, for our hook, to put our hook on. Okay, so now we have that loop. Now we want to form the T-knot. So what you're going to do is put the knot like this and take the line that's in your right hand and you're going to come across and you're going to form a circle like that in there. Okay, and then take the line that's in your right hand and come up under the line that's in your left hand. You're going to wrap it around five times. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. Then you're going to take the initial loop that you made for the hook and you're going to come through this opening you made with those five wraps and pull it through there like that and you want to come through just until the knot from the hook loop clears that little opening that you made. Just like that. And then I'm going to slowly start pulling this line like this, and that should cause those knots to cinch up against each other. Just like that. And there you have a T-knot. And that holds that loop out away from the main line so that you avoid tangles. Okay, so now we want to take this hook loop, and you want to pinch down the end of it, you really got to pinch it down because this is a fairly stiff line. From what I understand, it's really good for abrasion resistance. And we're going to take the hook and we're going to come through the back end of the hook here. I didn't pinch it down enough there yet, apparently. And there we go. We come through the back end of the hook. And then you want to come around the point of the hook and the shank of the hook, just like that and then you want to pull that up like that. Now the reason I said to come to the back end of the hook is because when I pull on that you can see that's going to turn that hook inward so it would turn it into the fish's mouth as I was pulling on it. If you had it coming out the other way it would be just pulling it away from the fish's mouth. So then you can see that uh, this loop actually holds that hook out away from the main line there. And so it avoids tangles and there we have it, a T-knot. So then you can come up the line and just uh, add as many of those loops as you like it, two, three, whatever amount of hooks you want on your chicken rig or high-low rig that you want 
you can add those hooks on, sinker on the bottom, barrel swivel on the top, and you have a chicken rig. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this short tutorial. Um, I enjoy making things like this and taking it out of the water, trying it out, hopefully catch some fish, have some fun, get some excitement in life. So if you enjoyed this uh, video, uh, hit the like and subscribe button below. Um, and you all have a great day. Can't wait to get out fishing and uh, hope to see you on the water. Take care. Have a great day.